Morning, everybody. I've never done a video of myself, so please excuse any mistakes I make. But I wanted to tell you what happened to me this morning. It's 8 o'clock here in North Carolina. Um, I didn't sleep last night because I didn't feel good at all. And uh, about 7.30 this morning I got up and I went to Dunkin' Donuts to get myself some coffee. And uh, they have the new maple pecan flavor out and it's amazing. But FEMA and a State Farm disaster relief were in Dunkin' Donuts with me. And their trucks were out in the parking lot. So I talked to the guy from FEMA and um, he said that he was from California and that they got in last night. And he said, and I said, I can't believe how many trucks are here staging waiting for the storm. And I said, we've had hurricanes here before and I've never seen them stage like this before. And uh, he said, President Trump ordered them with a presidential order to stage and be prepared before the storm and be close to the storm so that they can get to the beach as fast as they can or to wherever we are that we lose power. And I thought that was amazing. And uh, he said that um, around town there's semi-trucks full of food and water and supplies, um, everything, anything that the people that stayed and the people that are displaced from their homes are going to need. Um, there are thousands, I'm not kidding, of um, lineman trucks and um, telephone trucks with telephone poles on them and everything in my town. Every parking lot is full. I'm going to post pictures. Um, I talked to some guys from Mississippi that got here last night and they're at the hotel on the, over um, down the street from my house on the corner. And um, I asked them why they picked Statesville. And uh, he said, Statesville is the town I live in. And he said because Statesville is the town that enters a good town that intercepts I-40 and I-77 and that from those two highways they can get to Charlotte in South Carolina or straight to the beach I-40 will take you straight to the beach um, these really nice guys I told them that we're all praying for them and we thank them and and it's amazing that they're ready to go before the storm has even gotten here they said that after they get their go to leave to go to the beach to start helping that all the state troopers going all the way from here to the beach which is over 200 miles are going to close the exits and these guys will have no speed limits and um, the highway will, will be closed just for them to get to um, the beach as fast as they can and I thought that that's never been done around here before I've never seen that before and um, I think you know, I live inland. I'm 240 miles inland. So, you know, by the time the hurricane gets to me, it's, you know, fizzled out. But uh, I've never seen them stage like this before. And every time I go out of the house and I see them all over town, it's just giving me the goosebumps. Because I'm, like, it makes me so proud that the president is sending them before the storm even came. Even FEMA, which usually drags its feet to do stuff after a storm, they are here and ready with everything. And uh, if President Trump ever sees this, thumbs up, dude. We love you. And we pray for you. And we pray for all these guys that are going to go restore power and uh, help people that are stuck by the storm. I love you all. Bye.